All right, Slingshot Shooters. So in the last video, we went over taper templates. Now this one, let's talk taper rulers. You already seen this one from GZK in the last video. Absolutely love this. It's handy. Let's say you want to cut some tapers for bands. And all you have is this or a straight ruler. This is hands down way better than the straight ruler. Simply for the fact you can go, I want, say 10 by 8. We'll go with a weird one. Let's go 20 by 15. So there's 20, 2 centimeters, so 20 millimeters. And 15, 5, 10, 15. Twenty and fifteen. So all we'd have to do take our roller cutter, slice that. There's a twenty by fifteen. Now, let's say you don't want one square straight edge. I like the true tapers where it's tapered on both sides. That's five millimeters tapered. So we divide that by two, that's two and a half millimeters. So we go to five, simply for the fact that going to two to not, going down to the zero, a lot of times it'll roll off. So remember which way you took it, we're having the big end over here, the small end is on this side. So we have five millimeters and two and a half millimeter mark. Cut that little strip off, just like on the taper template. Now let's go back to 20 and 15. Always close your rollers. Those cutters, super sharp. So always get in the habit, you make your cut, snap it closed, guys. You can't accidentally throw it down or you flip latex over on them. I've lost latex that way, sliced it. No nicks on the fingers, but better safe than sorry. So we have our little end, get zoomed in here. Throw that off to the side. You can see we're at 15 millimeters, but we did 20 by 15. So let's double check. Oh, well, look at that. You can't see it. Let's try this again. Look at that, 20 millimeters. So we've got a perfect taper of 20 to 15. Now let's make sure Get this square on there. And what do you know? It tapers small here, bigger here. We achieved the taper we wanted, a true taper, not square one side. So now, let's get rid of this one and go to something else. All right, let's look at the next one. We've all seen these ones. They are great. They are adjustable. Have an Allen key, you lock it down. Let's stick with the 1520. There's 20. There's 15. Not going to tighten it down all the way, just some. And let's get that one to the 20. Actually, before we do that, we need to verify our length. So if we did 20 here, we're going to be off because our band goes to here. So let's make sure we're at the 20 there.
We are at 20. All right, so we're all tightened down. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to flip this over. And we're going to go with 20 on this side and 15. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go with 20 on this side and 15 on this side. So we want to take it to the little line right here. And we want to just slide it all the way to the inner lip. Fold that tight down. And slice our band. Now... Let's see how we did. We've got a 1520 and a 1520 cut from two different rulers. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle if that ain't spot on, dead even. Looks like they were cut together. Other than that side and I did not pay attention to which one was which but let's get these things super on each other accurately perfectly lined up and let's take a look at them because this brings up another point okay let me push that over here. Push these right up against that. So you can see it's just a hair off. Now. Are these marked dead even perfectly? That would be my guess as to not. It's hard to see the lines. But the fact that I did this to 15, a little bit of playing around. You can get the other side to directly 20. It could have been my length. Oh, that's what it was. It's 16 and a half and I did it at 17. So there we go. The problem was me. So the next one, a great, great adjustable ruler, guys. Now, let's collapse this one back down. And go to the next one. Now, this one is for the adjustable rulers. This one's my favorite. I believe this one came from Sniper Sling. Here is the back that comes on it. I removed that and put my own on out of Plexi. You can see the difference in the thickness. If you're doing two band sets, that thickness, with this one, it only catches one thing of latex. So the bottom layer, a lot of times will slide under, and that's no good. That gives you all sorts of problems in the symmetry of your band set. Now let's go back to the 2015. So I'm going to put that to the 20. Sixteen and a half by 10, 15. 
Now, what I did, I put my plexi piece on here, and I did melt some holes in it. That way, they sit flat. But that allows me to do two layers of the latex, go too thick. And you can see it hit there. And now, let's throw another band up here. You get that on there, you just slide. Well, better turn it around. Get that up there so they're not even. Get that on there, and you just slide it down, and both layers of the latex are flush against that bigger piece. Whereas with this small one, that bottom one does one of these numbers and pops under. So that was my resolution to that. I also put a mark here. That way it's half inch past, so I'm getting my true taper. By the time I tie on, this will actually be 20 here versus the other ones we cut the very end of the latex at 20. So I go to that line, make sure the latex is flush. There's one. Flip the latex over. Go back to your line there. Still a little bit off, but when doing them, you have just do a whole bunch. I think that was the wrong side. It was. Nope. Yeah, it was. I forgot to flip it. Just do one more on that side to even that back out. See, there's what I was talking about. When it gets to those real narrow cuts, if you watched my first video, I said about taking it down to the corner, or maybe it was this one, I don't remember. So now... We'll just lay all those on top of each other. Get them all to the very end. And you can then go through and pick out the ones that are matched the best because the problem I have found with these type if only doing one layer of latex and it applies to this one <clears throat> excuse me or this one as you push down since you have a piece here or here that is flat against the base to lock the plastic you have to push on the front with this one you're pushing on the front kind of tilting it downward almost that squishes the latex here the minute it's squished that's the same as pulling it's stretched so as it's stretched if you're not putting the exact same force exerting exactly the same force then your latex that's below the ruler will stretch, squash, disform, what, however you want to word it, 
which will result in slightly varied band sets. That's why when you hear um, Gamekeeper John or anyone else that cuts like this on their videos, they usually always go two layers thick. It's the most practical. You do two layers, then both of them are coming out exactly the same. So you pull these ones off, and then you pull your next double set off. They might have a difference in the set, much like how... See, these ones are pretty close. But they're not necessarily... Those ones are pretty close. Let's see here. That one's pretty good, too. That one, you can see, it's just a smidge off. This top one is just a hair longer. That would be one set here, though, and one set here. The variance wouldn't be on one set of bands, if these two were tied together onto a pouch, the variance would be in two separate bands because we were cutting two layers thick at a time. So it's a great way to keep your bands consistent if you're not using a template. I have basically switched to only using the templates. There's a few tapers that I don't have templates for. However, I always cut double thick simply to not have that variance in a band set. You definitely tie up a band set with one just a hair wider. One band is slightly more powerful than the other. It might not make a big deal as far as accuracy. You will shoot that set just fine. Once you throw it on there, you'll be hitting your targets and stuff. However, when you switch to a different set of the finger quote, same taper, but there's minuscule differences in it, that can translate to inconsistencies band set to band set. So just something to keep in mind, you guys. Stay safe, shoot straight, watch your fingers on the roller cutters. Thanks for watching.